out from O.J. O.J. cuts left. He may go all the way. Touchdown, O.J. The Los Angeles Police Department right now is actively searching for Mr. Simpson. O.J. Simpson always needed validation from those around him. And he found it in football, even from an early age in the rugged 1960 San Francisco neighborhood of Potrero Hill. As a kid, I always knew I would be a professional baseball or football player. Football has been my vehicle to come out of the ghetto or, or to get everything I've got. I think I have a lot more to offer, but it was football that put me on that stage to show O.J. Say everybody like O.J. Simpson. Well, everybody wouldn't know me to like me if it wasn't for football. Simpson's followers grew when he reached USC in 1967. Zaghi catching the Simpson. They won't get him. He's being convoyed in. 80 yards for O.J. Simpson. He set 19 rushing records en route to two All-America selections and college football's most prestigious award in 1968. The officers, governors, and members of the Downtown Athletic Club, I'm delighted to present to you this 34th Heisman Trophy, symbolic of your achievement as the outstanding collegiate football player in the country. Congratulations, Ajay. Thank you. As the 1969 draft grew near, O.J. thought he'd be staying in Southern California to play for the Los Angeles Rams. He wound up trading sun and sand for snow and ice. Buffalo select O.J. Simpson, halfback, University of Southern California. With the Buffalo Bills, the juice was indeed loose. He won four NFL rushing titles and broke 1,000 yards rushing five straight times. And on December 16, 1973, at Chase Stadium in New York, he went where no NFL runner had ever gone before. 2,000 yards in a single season. OJ running left, OJ, five more. There it is. He did it. He did it. Yeah. We're going to get 2,000. Coming out of the game. That's it. He's coming out of the game. The Juice retired from the NFL in 1979 after nine years with the Bills and two with his hometown 49ers. He retired as the league's second all-time leading rusher with over 11,000 yards, trailing only Jim Brown. Being liked was not hard for OJ on or off the field. In addition to being a dominant running back, he became a dominant product spokesperson, especially for Hertz rent car by the time Hertz hired me, it showed itself in their increase in sales. And uh, I like to think it opened the door for, for you know, a lot of other guys uh, uh, to get contracts from corporate America. He went into acting as well, appearing in the acclaimed 1977 miniseries Roots, and eventually appeared in 20 movies, including a memorable recurring role as Detective Nordberg in the wildly popular spoof trilogy, The Naked Gun. Getting closer. Good. You should see him any minute now. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, ah! Look in. He's real close now. Ah! Step on it. You enjoy acting? Uh, I enjoyed it. It was uh, something new for me. It was pretty much like school. It wasn't easy for me to do. You know, football has been <laughs> pretty easy for me to do, and this was a, a little of a challenge. At his 1985 induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Simpson mentioned the woman with whom he would forever be linked. My wife, Nicole, who came into my life at what is probably the most difficult time for an athlete at the end of my career. And she turned those years into some of the best years I've had in my life. O.J. Simpson and Nicole Brown were married in 1985, the year he entered the Hall of Fame, and six years after his divorce from his first wife and high school sweetheart, Marguerite Whitley. Not long thereafter, reports of domestic abuse by Simpson started to swirl. Her therapist later said that Nicole Brown Simpson was battered incessantly, regularly, all the time. In October of 1993, Nicole placed this 911 call. 911 emergency. Can you get someone over here now to 325 Gretna Green? He's back. 
please? Well, okay, what does he look like? He's O.J. Simpson. I think you know his record. Could you just send somebody okay. over here? Okay, what is he doing there? He just drove up again. He just drove somebody up over? Okay, wait a minute. What kind of car is he in? He's in a white Bronco, but first of all, he broke the back door down to get in. Before. Okay, wait a minute. What's your name? Nicole Simpson. Okay, is he the sportscaster or whatever? Yeah. Okay, Thank what is, you. wait a minute. We're telling the police. What is he doing? Is he threatening you? <laughs> going nuts. O.J. and Nicole Brown Simpson divorced in 1992, reportedly reconciled a year later, and then broke up for good in May of 1994. Just one month later, on June 12, Nicole Brown Simpson and a friend, Ronald Goldman, were found murdered outside Brown Simpson's Tony Brentwood, California home. Five days passed, and then authorities charged O.J. Simpson with the murders. He was scheduled to turn himself in on the morning of June 17th, but by mid-afternoon, Simpson was still missing. Mr. Simpson is a fugitive of justice right now. Wherever you are, for the sake of your family, please surrender immediately. What followed was a police chase that had the entire nation riveted to television. O.J. Simpson, football hero and silver screen icon, riding home in a white Ford Bronco belonging to his best friend, college and pro teammate Al Cowlings. Interstate 405 in L.A. quickly turned into the largest stadium in which Simpson had ever appeared. All the overpasses that we've seen have been lined with cars and pedestrians. I'm just uh, completely surprised at how many people are out here. I think I just saw O.J. Simpson on the uh, 5 freeway, and I got the license plate of the white Bronco. Suspect is possibly armed. Use caution. This is A.C. I have O.J. in the car. He's still alive, but he's got a gun through his head. And it's just going to be a matter of moments before he should pull into uh, his uh, own uh, estate. The police chase ended in Simpson's driveway, where he was eventually taken calmly into custody. The scene was set for what would eventually be called the trial of the century. Simpson's fame made household names of several of the lawyers and witnesses on both sides. Prosecutors Marcia Clark and Christopher Darden Defense counsel Robert Shapiro and Johnny Cochran, along with Judge Lance Ito and Cato Kalin. The name O.J. Simpson eventually divided the country along racial lines as well. Many blacks proclaimed his innocence, while whites were far more skeptical. The trial ultimately came down to the glove that was supposedly used in the slayings. Defense counsel Cochran showed that the glove did not fit O.J. Simpson's hand which was meant to show that Simpson right, could not have sir. committed the murders. It makes no sense. It doesn't fit. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. On October 3rd, 1995, after 150 witnesses over 133 days, the dramatic verdict was announced. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. This is something that would be attached to me for the rest of my life. And no matter what happened, I, I truly, to this day, still believe that the truth will come out. Though he was found not guilty in the criminal trial, a civil judgment found Simpson responsible for the murders. He was ordered to pay over $33 million to the family of Ronald Goldman. A decade later, in September of 2007, Simpson was arrested again on charges of kidnapping two sports memorabilia dealers and robbing them at gunpoint in a Las Vegas hotel room. His guilty conviction, coming 13 years to the day of his acquittal in the double murder case, carried a sentence of six years to life. Moments after he was eligible for release, an upbeat O.J. Simpson walked out of Nevada's Lovelock Correctional Center he was granted parole in July after serving nine years for a 2008 armed robbery and kidnapping. For even his most ardent supporters, it became increasingly difficult to like the once universally adored football icon. But in the end, at least publicly, O.J. Simpson felt content 
about his place in the world. I feel that I got more than most people have, despite everything that I've gone through with the people who saw me play, that that's what I left with them, that good feeling, that entertainment, if you want to call it, but made them stand up and cheer.